Grace and Peace family, I'm Dr. Brandon McCray, and welcome to another edition of Wisdom on Wednesday. Today we'll be continuing our series entitled, What You Have is All You Need. We are in 2 Kings chapter 4. Today we'll be considering verse number 6. In the English Standard Version of the Scripture, it reads like this. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped. Interestingly enough, the oil stopped at the point of confession that there was a lack of capacity. Allow me to posit this. Your faith feeds your capacity and your capacity fuels your future. Had the woman of God had faith prior to seeing the miracle, then her faith would have been true, a faith as given the description in Hebrews, because according to Hebrews, a faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But here, her faith has been inverted. Her faith is built because she has seen the miracle. Imagine in your mind's eye, as she pours, she says, the Lord is truly able to provide for my need. So she had faith based on what she saw. The jars were full, and when she saw that the jars were full, she made a request of another jar. So it was a faulty level of faith. But here's the key word for our conversation today, capacity. She lacked capacity, and take a note, her capacity curtailed her conclusion. What would have happened had she had more vessels? What would have happened had she not limited herself by her preparation. Let me leave you with a thought. The lack of proper preparation reveals a lack of capacity. Had her faith said to her that God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that she could ask her think, then her capacity would have been increased because she would have provided more for God to do more with. Take another note. Our preparation must equal or exceed our expectation. She prepared only for what she believed she would receive. Her faith handicapped her capacity. If her expectation was greater, God would have met her at the point of her expectation. So her faith was a, uh, uh, a stumbling block for God's uh, performance. Uh, 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 we're going to end here. I want you to write this down and think about this as you travel through the rest of the week. Never limit God by what you bring him to work with. This has been your boy, Brandon McCray, AKA B Mac Music. Do three things for me. Like, share, and comment on this post. We want to make something God go viral. And until next time, I want to see your face in the same space for Wisdom on Wednesday. Listen, holla at your boy.